Hello, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Power BI Key Influencers Visualization to better understand what led to people surviving the Titanic disaster or not surviving the Titanic disaster. It uses a machine learning library built into the visualization, so you don't have to code anything. So let's get started. The Titanic data set, which you can link to in the description of the YouTube video will show you that there's 1,308 total passengers listed. Of them, the ones that survived are true. We had 339 females and 161 males survived. So 500 people of the total passengers lived. For the visualization, I'm going to use these fields. The survived is what I wanna understand. And then the gender, the passenger class, first, second, or third, the fare that people paid, the cabin they were assigned. And you can see there's a lot of blank, so I'm using that. I want to see if the visualization picks up on that and uses it or does not. The age of the passenger, and then the ticket. So that's the actual ticket number that, that they had on file. So did the ticket number play into anything? Maybe the ticket uh, led to where they were on board the ship in relation to the lifeboats. Uh, we really don't know. So to build this, I have a tab for my key influencer already pulled down. So what I want to understand is what influences survived. And you can see here, I can set it to true or false. So in this case, I want to know what led to somebody actually surviving the Titanic. And then one by one, I can pull things over. So I'm just going to add sex, which is their gender. So it automatically shows based on the data 3.81 times more likely to survive if you were female. Next, I want to put in the passenger class. What happens with that? Well, now if your passenger class is one, you're two times more likely than not. Next, I'm going to add in the fare. So what were people paying? Well, now you can see you're most likely to survive if you were female. And then if your fare was greater than 75.25, you were 2.18 times more likely. And then if I click on this, you can see it's going to change my graphs over here, more than 25. It gives me a lot of information without having to do any code. Next, I want to put in the cabin. Did the cabin have anything? Well, you can see here it's not doing anything with the cabin information because, again, the cabin was very sparsely populated. So... That's just a way for me to check and make sure everything's working the way I would expect. Then I want to put in the age. What happened with the age of the passengers? Age. So now I've got fair. Oh, if you were between the ages of zero and eight, you had a high likelihood of surviving. And finally, I want to look at the ticket and see what happens with the ticket. So here we are, I added the ticket and nothing happened. So the key influencers is really great uh, as a way to quickly understand what's going on in your data. The other thing that this can let you do is if I look at the top segments, it'll, so try out the Titanic data set, try out your own data set, let me know what you find. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.